Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Since the last episode, I took about 15 minutes to grind for some MP for Firion and Maria. I like to have at least 20 MP for each of their maximum spell levels. In this case, that would mean for Firion, at least 20 MP for Maria, at least 40 MP. This is really uh, the first opportunity that you have to grind for MP, since the enemies around here won't run away from you for the most part. And uh, you need a battle of, uh, of at least five monsters, I'd say, so that your characters can cast a spell at least four times, which should allow them to gain some MP. I mean, at least 20% of your maximum MP. And uh, you might even gain a point of soul or intelligence while you're at it. I actually gained uh, a couple points of intelligence for Maria and uh, yeah, a few for uh, Furion already. And he just got his first uh, uh, white magic spell just a little while ago, so that's pretty good. Essentially, for grinding for MP, you want to prolong the battle as long as possible by killing only one monster at a time, since there's no auto-targeting in this game, so that makes it a little easier. You could also um, make use of Min's uh, anti-spell. It's essentially the same as uh, the Rasp spell in uh, future versions of the game. Uh, what it does is it simply damages the target's MP. Um, I don't like using that. I think that's almost semi-cheating, because I don't think that's the way the game intended you to gain MP, but whatever, I mean, it's, I, it's not that bad cheating, not like the select cancel trick, anyway. But anyway, um, grinding for MP is really the extent of the grinding that I do in the game. Uh, I don't think it's that bad at all, and it's certainly going to be a lot less than my previous two Let's Play series, ironically. I mean, it's better than grinding for the gold to get, uh, others and stuff, but later on in the game you'll have so much money uh, I'll b be buying others anyway, so I won't have to grind for MP anymore. So, we finished talking to Joseph. We've done everything we need to do here. Um, the equipment shops aren't worth visiting. Uh, they just contain um, weapons that I'm not going to buy and heavy pieces of armor that I'm not going to use. So, uh, yeah, for the most part, we're going to be going into the Semite Cave butt naked. So, there we go. It won't be so bad. Now, at the magic shop here, um, well, they have the anti-spell that I was telling you about. They also have uh, the warp and exit spells. Um, I'm not going to pick those up right now, um, not even later, um, or purchasing them anyway. And the life spell is the only other thing that I might want to get eventually. I do want to get that for Furion, but not right now. I'll uh, talk more about life later when I decide to get it, because it's just too expensive for right now. And I think I talked to everyone. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's everything we need to do here. Let's head to the Semite Cave. Uh, you could take the airship there, but I'm just going to walk there to get some more experience. But uh, now you want to start um, not really heavily conserv conserving your MP, but I wouldn't cast a spell twice in a battle at this point. Fire is doing pretty good as it is. And uh, I want to get fire up to level 3 by the time I get to the end, so I'm already doing pretty good there. And uh, my weapons, yeah. I'd like to get Maria up to level 2, um, but I don't have to. I mean, it's not critical. So, um, let's move on. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta head west across those mountains, south to the river, and then there's that little sparkling dot in the southwest there. That's where I gotta go. Yay, Furion gained some more HP, which me, which is another reason why I don't have armor equipped right now. It's actually almost semi-useful, so let's keep going. Just gotta make it to that river. Almost there. Stop taunting me with your airship, Sid! I can only walk right now. There it is. Okay, how we're doing here? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Let's save. And move along. Now, don't worry about conserving Maria's MP too much. Uh, Furion, I would, but uh, Maria, um, she has plenty of MP, and I have uh, ways of dealing with her using so much MP, so let's just move along. Ooh, Min gained some power there, so... Let's, uh, remove that. Yep, his attack went up a little bit, so... Yay! Let's keep going. Hmm, there's a blue rock there. That seems a little odd. More on that later. Oop, there's a chest in the upper left there, so I want to head there first. 
There are new enemies around here, I just haven't found them yet. I'll demonstrate those battles when I get to it. Yay, Maria gained some agility, so I want to do that and work on that. Okay, let's get this chest. Oh, come on! Ten gil. <sighs> These chests better get better. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. Okay, that path to the right leads to a dead end, so let's take this fork down. And to the right. Oh, 200 gil. Well, at least that's mildly respectable. That's the first useless chest in the... Or, useful chest in the game. Sorry, I just... I'm so used to calling these chests useless. <laughs> okay, let's uh, take the path back and uh, the fork to the left this time. Ah, oh, there's the stairs. Okay, there's plenty of chests on this floor, so let's get them. They better have something useful. Okay, uh, the upper left... Well, all these paths lead to chests. I'll take the upper left path first. An eye drop. You're going to give me a freaking eye drop in a dungeon that has no enemies that can inflict blind on me. I mean, this is beyond useless. At least a potion I could do something with. Uh. They have really got to start beefing up these treasure chests, I tell you. Damn it! More damn potions! I'm going to be complaining about that a lot throughout the game, unfortunately, but oh well. No! No more! Okay. Was that a little over the top? I'm sorry. Well, anyway, in that battle there, um, what I did was, because Maria was getting down to about 15, 16 MP, so as you can see now, she her MP is restored. How did I do that? Well, it's all the magic of the change spell uh, that Min has. It uh, swaps your HP and MP with that of the target. So since he has a whole bunch of MP that I'm not using, I thought, why not use it on Maria, so that way she can prolong uh, using her MP for her magic, because she really needs it. Now, the thing is, though, um, you want Min to have about 10 MP after you do that. So, I figured, you know, if she was at, like, 15 MP, maybe cast Fire, she's down to 13, Min casts Change, so then he swaps MP, then he loses the 3 MP from Change, and he'd be down to 10. So I want to have at least 10 MP there. So with that, let's continue onward. Four doors? Which one do I choose? Well, in general in this game, you want to choose the left door. Of course, I could be wrong. No, I was right. The other three doors lead to empty rooms where the encounter rate is extremely high. So. Okay, well, I think this is a good place to stop. So that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Next time, hopefully, I will find slightly less useless treasure and maybe even get to the Mithril if I have enough time. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!